Here we've got a mini ITX motherboard from ASUS. This is the AT5IONT-I motherboard. It features a few different things. One, it is fanless. Two, it is slim. I guess what they mean is ITX. Okay, it has USB 3.0 eSATA and it is amplifier friendly. Interesting, okay. This is a Mini Max, so Home Entertainment Center branded motherboard. Let's go ahead and flip it over and see what it's got to say for itself on the back. So it features the Intel Atom D525 dual core processor as well as next generation NVIDIA ION chipset and GPU. It has a silent thermal solution with fanless heat dissipation at zero decibels. Okay, I think that means silent and thermal and solution. Solutions are generally effective. Okay, accelerates heat transfer with a heat pipe design. Very nice, bigger area for heat dissipation and completely silent. So yes, it's silent. Got it. Home theater PC, high definition experience of video and audio. Yes, the NVIDIA ION next generation chipset is capable of accelerating high def decoding. So that means you can watch high def content on this tiny little fanless motherboard. Here we've got a user's guide along with some along with a DVD with your drivers and utilities and all that good stuff, powered by ASUS sticker, so throw this away, accept the sticker, download the latest off the ASUS website. We've got an IO shield, pretty much what we're used to seeing, and we have two SATA cables, both of which are straight SATA cables, not right angle ones. In our environmentally pack friendly packaging, we will find the motherboard next. Put that there, and let's go ahead and get that opened up. Okay. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice looking. Okay, so the first thing we notice about this is that it has an enormous heat pipe cooler on it that not only has fins for dis heat dissipation inside, but it also has through the back of the IO shield, see when you put this on, it actually also has some external access. So uh, I guess they're expecting you to get a little bit of you know, airflow through there to get some additional cooling. So that's an interesting approach to take to something like this. Okay, there's our ASUS logo on that heatsink. It's actually quite nice looking. Looks, uh, looks very expensive in terms of cooling solutions that I've seen on micro ATX motherboards in the past. I've got three heat pipes going on there. All right, let's take a look at the layout of the rest of this board. So we've got a few fan headers. That's kind of nice to see as well. That's a lot of fan headers for a micro ATX board. We got three, oh, including CPU fan. Although I don't see anywhere to mount a CPU fan. You could always just kind of bolt one on after the fact. There is no four pin CPU power connector. So this is powered entirely by the 24 pin connector. We've got two sodium memory slots. So those are for, ooh. I actually don't know. Is that going to be DDR2 or DDR3? Those are going to be DDR3 sodium memory slots. Okay, so we've got little clips here. Don't need those. Looks like there's an extra power port that you could, they could potentially solder on here if they need it. Here's a clear CMOS switch. Here's our BIOS chip. Uh, we've got two SATA ports. So those are SATA 2 ports. Then we've got a PCI Express 4X slot. Okay, but that's an open slot. So what you could potentially do, I mean, if you really wanted to, is you could take a full 16x card and install it in there. So I'll show you guys what I mean by an open slot. So I'll go ahead and put that on the edge of the table and then position the video card so that it's in the right spot. There you go. So I can actually install that. Pull that back out. And it would run just at reduced bandwidth and obviously the Atom CPU in there probably isn't really powerful enough to really play any games with a GPU of that caliber. But yeah, it just means the back of the slot is not closed off. So you can install whatever size cards you want. They'll just run with reduced bandwidth. We have a USB header right here. And then let's have a look at what we've got in terms of, oh, here's our front audio header as well. Let's look at what we've got in terms of rear panel connectivity. So we have dedicated PS2 ports for mouse and keyboard. We have an optical audio out. HDMI and DVI out, no VGA on this particular board. There's those heat pipes we were seeing before. Two USB 2.0 ports, an eSATA port, two USB 3.0 ports, gigabit ethernet, as well as 
Sorry about that. And on the back, we've got 5.1 audio, although if you do want to use a microphone, then you'll probably be limited to just headphones or uh, 2.0, 2.1 speakers. Here, the heat pipe cooling solution is attached via screws. I like to see that. It's just more secure than push pins, and I do appreciate it. So, thank you for checking out my unboxing of the ASUS AT5-1-5-1-5-I-O-N-Z. Five five one, five I -O -N -T -I. So that's the AT5-I-O-N-T-I. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.